again. This is winners round three. I am here today with Scrummy, aka Victor. Hello. I'm here with Jaden, aka Sir Hammy LXXIV. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say all of that, right? Okay, but anyways, today we have RP Devils versus Chris. RP Devils running that Ike, starting with the side V. And his opponent is Chris. Like I said before, or maybe not before or after. Uh, Chris has been playing Lucario for like about a week now. He said he's been practicing him. Very unorthodox character, pretty underplayed, pretty slept on. Uh, this patch, I believe, he's gotten some buffs, increasing his aura limit, which buffs him greatly. And it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Oh, that's Ooh, unfortunate. Nice early stock for Chris. Even though he has no aura, he is still playing powerfully. Nice little combo off a down throw. And another one? Oh, no. But the counter does not connect. Yo, that was cool. Ike uh, did an F smash, and then like his sword was on fire, or kind of aura-ish. That was dope. That was dope. Yo, Chris is not letting feet breathe. Chasing him down. The grab, the up throw, no up here. Land, but can Ooh, missed attack. Understandable. Oh. Lots of missed inputs. Hopefully he can recover. Oh. No. Oh. Commentator's curse. That's unfortunate. Hey, yeah, very nice. Hey, I believe in RP Devil. He can come back. He won his previous uh, set in two seconds. Uh, you guys don't believe us. Well, you guys should. But I believe RP Devils can pull, pull through. Yeah. Sit back on stage. No third SD. Thankfully. We were trying to counter the recovery, but no, sir, that does not work like that. Chris, with the continuous pressure. Oh, tried to two frame with the down B, uh, down smash actually, but that was not necessary. Game one goes to Chris as Lucario. Powerful batch. I wonder if he will switch. We're back. This is game two of winners round three. Same people as before, Chris versus RP Devils. Lucario versus Ike. Switching the characters. Ooh, he's pulling out the Joker! The infamous Joker of RP Devils. You know, that's funny because you know how uh, in the previous match he SD'd a lot? Yeah, you don't want to know what happened to his Joker in the first tournament. No offense, V, if you're rewatching this. You did good. This time you have uh, an actual controller now. Okay, that's three. Three up tilts coming in from Lucario. Time for another string. Only 30%, not too shabby. Yeah, Lucario's combos are pretty flashy, but they do very little percent. Kinda like Sheik. And another down throw. Ooh. Almost has our send. Let's see if that plays out. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, these, both of these characters thrive off of being at high percent. Like Rage and Arsene, all that. This is very interesting. Remember hit and it's out. Counter. Big boy, our is here. Hashtag, oh, countering with the side beat grab. Would you consider that side beat of Lucario a command grab? I don't even know what that's classified as because if it if it doesn't land the grab, it's like a projectile almost. But then if it does connect like that. Force palm is a command grab when it's close enough, but that's only at sweet spot. Oh, force palm, oh, right. Sick name for a sick move. Right, RP Devils at dangerously high percent. Oh, and dies from the force palm. But yeah, as uh, Professor Lucas, or AKA Professor Emerald said, force palm, very good move for the Lucario. Oh, oh. Miss and putting the gun downwards, not being able to recover from that due to the end lag. Chris appears to be dominating this match. Oh, yeah, Rebels I'm gonna go. go to a game three. Yeah. Oh, there's a chance. Our Sen match connecting. Side B. Fee's playing a little more cautious. Good stuff from RP Devils. Oh no. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and the counter. 
amazing stuff from RP Devils. Totally not biased. Oh, Lucario was throwing out his counter, a counter of his own. Reminded that he had that move. <laughs> yeah, Lucario's counter is, a lot of the Pokemon counters are pretty, I mean, there's probably only two Greninja and Lucario, but th their counters are very unique. Instant? Oh, well, I mean, that's not, really a, that's not really a counter, it's more of a... Like, just like, Joker's... Yeah, it's like... Zombie. Rebels, it's like Rebels Guard, kind of. It's not very unique though. I wouldn't really consider it a counter. Not good either. I mean, it could be a counter, but a very weak one. But whatever, what happens after is up to Incineroar, you know? Thank you again, Professor Emeralds. With the Pokedex at hand. Ooh, Force Palm. Not working. Double Force Palm. Now it works. It doesn't work once you do it again. Oh, V must have heard us. He's using a lot of counters. Lots of Rebel Guard. So many aerials coming out from the Cario. 169%. Oh. Uh, down air. Air smash. Another air smash. Force Palm. And Chris finishes off with the Force Palm. Game 2 goes to Chris and his new Cario. That Force Palm only has like 90 power in. Pokemon game. Send me your soldier boy energy before you leave. Ah, yes. Soldier, no matter what the cost, you must win. Show them that you can break the limits beyond the clouds, break the skies, and tear it down! Thank Yo, you, dude, that. this is a Wendy's.